Hey, what's up, everybody? Today is Friday, December 13th, Friday the 13th, oddly enough, at about 3.30 p.m. Uh, just wanted to show you guys real quick um, something that I know that I've had problems with in the past. Um, I always, if you notice, I've always got my properties tab open over here, as well as my project browser. Allows me to very easily adjust uh, anything I need to in the properties for whatever I've got selected here. And as far as the project browser, obviously allows me to quickly get to my views, legends, schedules, sheets, whatever. Uh, but what happens if you lose those and you don't know where to get them and you're aimlessly searching for them? So what I'm going to show you is how to get those back. First thing we're going to do is get the properties tab back if you go to modify. It's just all the way over here on the left. You just click on properties and it'll open up my properties tab. And you look and you say, okay, well, project browser's not anywhere around there. Where the hell is that? You have to go to view user interface up here in the upper right corner. Do that drop down. And then you can click on project browser right there. And now you've got your project browser and your properties back. Under your project browser um, you can do one of two things a lot of times I'll have them stacked like this but if I'm working on big jobs and um, I want to see all of my properties at one time or if I want to see all of my views or, or sheets at one time because I've got so much stuff in there what I do is I'll put them side by side which I just clicked it drag it up um, make sure that this bar right here is highlighted in blue select it now they're side by side side and you alternate down here at the bottom so you can see I've got a lot more room to work with and see and a lot less scrolling and then one thing you can do on the project browser is a couple of cool things here um, you can come in here and expand all and it will expand everything in the entire project browser here for you uh, let's go to collapse all or your let's say you're just working in views you can right click and say expand selected it's going to uh, expand just the views. I can say collapse selected. I can go to families and expand selected. It's going to expand just my families and so on and so forth. Let's collapse selected. Another thing that's nice, let's say that you're, um, let's say you want to get it back to where they're stacked. You can just put this like that. Oops. Uh, I got to do it at the bottom here. Like that. Now they're stacked again. You can alternate the positions if you want to. But let's say that you've got them stacked like this. You can very easily go to just the views, just your legends, just your schedules, just your sheets, or just your um, families, or groups and detail models. You can do that all right up here across the top. I find it helpful when you've got a lot of... Um, content really schedules sheets views everything uh if i know i'm just going to be working in views i'll just have this views open if i know i'm just working in schedules or sheets i'll have just the sheets open um and if i'm at home i usually have everything uh, collapsed or i mostly work side by side like this so that i can maximize my space Anyway, I uh, hope this was helpful for somebody because I know that it, it uh, helps me and speeds me up quite a bit. So I hope somebody gets some use out of this. And thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.